Aren't we embarrassed? And seriously, I, I, no, I'm stealing that from uh, one of my favorite comedians, uh, Sebastian Maniscalco. And again, I can totally relate to the guy and his upbringing. And uh, he did one of his comedy routines is Aren't You Embarrassed? Um, the, the top stories right now across uh, most of the uh, most of the publications right now in the country, it's, it's not it's not Putin and Z's meeting. No, not that. It's not what's happened between uh, Credit Suisse and UBS and the banking problems. It's uh, Trump. Trump and, and Alvin Bragg. Oh, and, and I'm sure I'm sure if we uh, you tune in tonight to all of the um, all the, 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 the talking head programs out there, that's what they're going to be covering. A, a story that's not important. Yeah, yeah, sorry, all you super Trumpsters out there. It's not important. Yeah, but it's a stretch by the DA, man. Just, yeah, it is. What, what else is new? What, what else is new? What, what did you think that they were going to do? Okay, Alvin Bragg doesn't want to be the Manhattan District Attorney. Alvin Bragg wants to run for governor. Alvin Bragg wants to climb. He's a politician. He wants to climb the political ladder. I guess people figure this crap out yet for crying out loud. He wants to climb the ladder. Same way Elliot Spitzer did back in the day. And he was climbing a climb. They had him as an ex-presidential candidate until he decided to uh, uh, sleep, with, uh, sleep with hookers that he was prosecuting at the same time. Nice guy. Quality individual. Anyway. Alvin Bragg is, he picked up the phone and, uh, you know, again, like uh, Don Corleone, Gava made him an offer. Hey, this is what you're going to do. You, you are going to, you're going to distract the entire country of, you know, stuff that's going on with the Biden administration. We're going to get all coverage on this and the, um, the litany of idiots around the country that buy into all of this stuff, like this stuff actually matters, will be distracted by it. I'm not distracted by it. You know, am I talking about it today in one of uh, our podcasts? Yeah, but it's it's a cautionary tale is what it is. Um, and stories everywhere. Impossible to overstate Bragg's bad judgment here. No kidding. No ki even, <laughs> even if Bragg fails, they win. Even if Bragg fails, they win. The best course of action by, you know, conservatives and all times just to ignore this. Now, this is just stupid. It's a waste of our time. It's a distraction. Let's move on to something that's more important. We're not going to cover this because it's not important. It's not. And again, I, I'm waiting for it because it's, it's going to happen. Um, I cover Trump stories uh, here on the program. And, um, you know, the, the, the MAGAs are super Trumpsters out there. They get all upset. And they send nasty messages and all this. I'm like, all right, I, I, I kind of try to put this into ways that, you know, just basically understanding me and who, who I am. Um, all of this stuff, this is the philosophy. This is Markowski's philosophy. My philosophy is, and I, I said this before, is that you need to take, you want to be an adult. You want to be a successful in life. You, you assume ownership in everything that you do. What do I mean by that? Good, bad, indifferent. It doesn't matter. If something goes wrong, if something doesn't work out, if you can blame yourself, find some way where you made a mistake and whatever it may be, then you know what? Then you have the opportunity to fix the mistake. If you spend time looking to blame, you're not going to get anywhere. And again, it reminds me of a line that popped into my head. It was uh, Sean Connery's character. Remember in the movie uh, Rising Sun? And he tells uh, Wesley Snipes, he says, uh, uh, Japanese, and I'm paraphrasing, remember exactly. He says, you know, you know, fix the problem rather than trying to fix the blame. And he said, this way is better. It's not wrong. Find a way to fix the problem. Whose fault is this? Is this Alvin Bragg's fault? Is this George Soros's fault? Is this Democratic operative's fault? What's taking place? 
Now. Now, and again, Donald Trump's not going to do this. He's not going to do this, but he should. It, it would show great growth. I mean, as a, a human being, a decent human being, own it. Come out and say, you know, this, this is terrible, everything that, that's taken place here. But the reality of the situation is I cheated on my wife with a porn star. I wouldn't be in this situation right now if I didn't cheat on my wife with a porn star. Period. The end. So to all you super Trumpsters out there, that's how it's his fault. And this is the same, this is, this, I teach my kids this. I teach my kids this. You know, you have to take it. It's poor decisions. Poor decisions lead to bad things happening down the road. Again, sub-referencing again. No, I said, kid, I, I love this movie. Um, I remember my youngest brother. <laughs> my youngest brother, my dad, because uh, my youngest brother, he was that much younger than I was. He made a, uh, a wooden bat from the movie The Natural. My dad took a, you know, a wooden thing and turned it, remember Wonder Boy from the natural Robert Redford? But anyway, I, I love that movie. And in the movie, towards the end, you know, Robert Redford, you know, it's his, his sides hurt, his stomach is bleeding because he got shot. And, you know, he makes, he makes a statement. You know, I was, you know, talking about this. He says, some mistakes in life you never stop paying for. There he was. He had just, you know, slept with his girlfriend out in the Midwest, ended up getting her pregnant and gets on a train. Man, it was a great scene. Remember beats the Babe Ruth type character, the whammer in the game of home run derby. Ends up getting seduced by this serial killer. Again. Again, poor choices lead to, to, to poor outcomes. And again, can, can you have sympathy? Absolutely. But you, you might want to cut down on your poor choices. And then this is what happens when people get into positions of power is that, you know, they feel that they can do whatever the hell they want and nothing will blow back on them. So yeah, this is a, a sideshow. This is stupid. We as a nation, we're, we're, we're an unserious nation. We're not, you know, there's so many more important things that we should be focused on in the here and now. And, and we're worried about this. And, and Trump is, is calling for protests. Dude, you should tell everybody, just tell everybody to stay the hell home. Calling for protests? Anyway, I, I think it's a stretch too. I do. But again, what happens if these protests get out of control? Anyway. Anyway, uh, narcissists will do what narcissists will do. Sorry. Watchdog on WallStreet.com. Watchdog on WallStreet.com.